Hi, this is Joan Mugne, and today I would like to share with you a video of a glass gilding piece I have done for a client. Uh, it is a step-by-step -step process, so I hope you like it. Check it out. This is the piece. It's a house number gilded on glass. For the water size, boil a pint of water and add about three diamonds of leaf gelatin. Stir with a spoon and make sure it dissolves well. These are the materials for water gilding. Gold leaves, water size, thorn tip, or any type of gilding tip, a water gilding brush, a sign writing brush, and backup paint. This is my setting. The glass is clean and free of any fat, and the design is behind the glass to be used as a guideline. Forgot to mention, you also need a little bit of Vaseline. Add a tiny bit of Vaseline to your arm. Rub the torn tip against your arm. For the tip to bite the goal, you can press softly with your fingers. Add the water size to start gilding. Place the gold with the help of a tip. Here I am using a thorn tip. Be delicate and don't stress if the gold cracks. Now repeat, add water size and gold leaves. Make sure you don't place gold on top of another leaf. And again, don't worry about the cracks at this stage. Take your time placing the gold. You can cut the gold like this. Since the gold is smaller here, it is easy for me to use a hair gilder stick. You also could use your hands, but be sure don't touch the gold, that will add fat to it. Once the first layer of gold is complete, just wait until the water dries. You will notice how the gold turns shiny. Now let's burnish in the gold. Use a good amount of cotton for this, even more than what I have used here. Do delicate circular movements and rotate the cotton constantly to avoid the scratches on the gold. Now let's do a second layer of gold, exactly the same way we just did the first layer, adding water size and gold. With this step we will close the cracks and any holes in the gold. Wait until it dries and then burnish in again and after back up with paint. I already made these steps. Now we will remove the excess gold using a wet soft sponge and a bit of pure d'argent. Be patient, you want to remove the excess gold, not the backup paint.
voila, there is it, a crispy and neat water gilded piece.